Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo for the BTN HD, and today is a video request. I received an email from one of my viewers, subscribers, and they wanted me to do um, a video on how to install Fin Office Community Edition uh, into a uh, Ubuntu server. So uh, I, I never dealt with this application before. So I did my research, and uh, so far I'm, I'm liking this this application a lot. It's possibility that I might implement this at my job. For my understanding, this uh, software is like a project management software. So I have my uh, Ubuntu server, and I'm going to show you guys how to install it with command prompts. All right. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to install Apache, PHP 5, and MySQL. Uh, because Thing Office runs like a web service and it needs a database to run properly. So I'm going to do is a sudo app git install php5 gd mysql server apache2 php5 php5 mysql and we're going to put the password in and just let it install. I'm going to hit yes on that. Now it's going to prompt you to enter a password for your root for your MySQL. So enter a password. Make sure you remember it. Make sure it's strong. There it goes. Okay, so our Apache, our MySQL, and PHP 5 is installed. And we created a password or enter a password for our MySQL for the root admin account. And what we're going to do is I'm going to do a CD uh, forward slash var ww slash HTML. I want to go inside this folder and clear it. The only thing that we can see inside this folder is the index.html. I have a, a Windows 10 machine right here. And I am actually going to uh, let's do a control T to open up another tab. And I think my IP address for this machine would be 168. Uh, I think it's 72. I mean, 47.37. I think that's it. Hit enter. Yes. So that means it's up and running. Awesome. Uh, if you guys don't believe me that this machine is that, so let's do an iconfig. And the IP address is right there, 47.37. So our Apache and everything is working with no problem. So let's get into installing the thing office. So I'm going to do is a sudo uh, w git http downloads uh, sourceforge.net forward slash project open go fin office fin uh, office underscore 3.4.1 which is the latest version and we're gonna do fin office 3.4.1 zip and it's gonna download that zip file inside the HTML folder okay okay so the file is downloaded so what we're gonna do is uh, ls dash L as you can see the file is right there this is awesome right here Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to install unzip because I need to uh, extract that file. So I'm going to do a sudo app get install unzip. Hit enter. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Uh, I spelled install wrong. There it goes. Okay, so it's downloaded. And the next thing that we need to do is I'm going to do a sudo unzip. And we're going to do the file which is fin office underscore 3.4.1 and zip. We're going to zip unzip everything in, inside the HTML folder. And I'm going to do a ls dash L. And these are all the files that are within that zip folder. And now we need to do, we need to fix a couple of permissions within the folder so we can have access to it to start, uh, to start the fin office installation. So the first one is sudo crown ww dash data colon ww dash data var ww slash html slash config is gonna be the first one. We're gonna hit enter and I'm just gonna hit the 
up arrow and we're gonna erase config and we're gonna do the cache folder hit enter I'm gonna do it one more time and we're gonna do the upload hit enter and the last folder that we need is the temp TM, TMP hit enter Oh, forgot to do the, the four slash there it goes awesome so I'm gonna clear this out and the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a database as well as in a user so we can log in into our installation and configure the database. So I'm going to do an echo, open quotations, create database. I'm going to call it fin db. Close the quotations. We're going to pipe it to MySQL, uh, u, the root, and p and enter the password and we created our database. Now the next thing that we need to do is create a user account and um, assign a password to it. So I'm gonna do an echo, open quotation, create user, single quotation, btnhd, close to single quotation, at single quotations, local, host, close the quotation, and identify by the password. So this is going to be the password for it. There it goes. And then close the quotations. And I'm going to pipe it to my SQL to the root P and into the password. Awesome. Now, the next thing that we need to do is take the user account that we just created and grant access to the database of FameDB. So we're going to do echo, open quotations, grant all on uh, FNGDB, period, star to the user account we created. So it would be that, local host, and close the quotations. We're going to pipe it to MySQL. And it's going to be root and p into the password. Awesome. So the next thing that we need to do in a command prompt is we need to do a sudo forward slash etc init dot d, and we're going to restart our Apache server. It's restarting. Awesome. So that's how you install it so now we need to see if it's working so let's go inside a Windows box and there's a particular file inside the var so ls-l this file right here index is the the main page of it so let's go and do forward slash index dot php hit enter and there it goes and all you gotta do is just hit next uh, hit next again. You got all green check marks. You got an OK. That means it's working. Awesome. We're going to click next. Uh, the database connection. Remember, I did BTNHD. BTNHD was the username, the password that I gave it. The database name was FinDB. DB. And if I hit uh, next, everything should go well. Awesome. Finish. Database connection has been established successfully. Uh, successful I can hit finish once I hit finish you're good to go so if you want to log back in let's go uh, do a forward slash index dot PHP again and it's gonna take me to the portal awesome this is the administrative account so let's do a I'm gonna create an account this is the first time uh, let's give it a an address let's provide a password let's confirm the password and the company is BTNHD and we're going to hit submit. Now we need to log in. So let's log in. Uh, this was the email address that I provided, right? And let's give the password and let's enter. And there you go, guys. That is how we install Fin Office Community Edition within uh, a server-based Linux operating system. I'm going to post all the, all the commands that I posted on the on the Ubuntu server side because I know there's a lot of it at my website. The link is going to be at the bottom and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.